Alrighty, let's play this in full here. There is sound at the very beginning, just a couple gunshots, and I'll leave it at that. Pew, pew. Pew. Last one. And then there he goes. Cool. I'm going to turn that sound off, just in case. And you're mentioning in your email that, so you're going to have this guy here. Pew, pew, shoot. Boom, run away. But then we go back up. And then police guy comes here, all frustrated, sweating. It's my sweat. <laughs> and that's it. Now, let me see. It felt a bit long. A couple of things. What if someone watches this without sound? I'm not sure you need the sound. I think we should play it safe and just work with it um, without the sound. Because if you just play this, I mean, you have the tracers, but I wonder if we could just start right away on this guy and then, you know, when once he gets to here, I think what I would do personally, what I, again, is, as always, is you can do whatever you want. I would start off right with the character coming in, so imagine there's no sound, so no one's kind of wondering, hmm, what's coming here? And I know there's, there is um, stuff here, but I'm going to ignore that and imagine character comes in, Runs to it. <clears throat> There's a slight uh, glimpse at the character looking back, which is cool. It's not extremely important because it's going to be clear here. But I always like that kind of little bit of a detail. So you might potentially, if you want to do this, push this a bit more where the chest is more turned away from us. So it's a bit more of a side, not like a sidewalk or side stepping thing. But it's just, it's just a bit, it feels a bit like it's mostly the head and then that's it. And I know this is stepped and we're going straight into this pose, but as you move forward, something you think about like how far you want that to be turned where that arm might be a bit more in front of the body, even if just for that small moment. But again, it's a minimal thing. But personally, what I would try to do is comes in and looks here. And now just for a moment, you might think, oh, I might make this. I can, I can jump down. And the cop that's following me, that's really big, is eating way too many donuts. He can never jump down. I'll be free. And because for that moment where he's he's thinking about this and he's much more occupied with that and his escape, he forgets the gun person in the back. It's a weird name, gun person. <laughs> so he comes in and then you have the shot. One here and then one here. Hitting. So it's a really close call. That's that makes him look back again. But just for a moment, he was forgetting the person because he thinks, "Oh, I can be free because only I can jump down here." Then he looks back. Phew, then that shot again here. And then the other thing was on the on my first viewing that he felt very casual. He's being shot at and goes, mm, "All right, yeah, I guess." Looking back, yeah, I guess. Hmm, well, let me jump. That seems very very relaxed for someone who's being shot at. So I would probably do this and then that's why I'm, I'm thinking about that's why he is um somewhat distracted by that moment of freedom there and then you got that shot like i said here where he really winces and moves away from this like really uh changing his pose turning around so it's not just that but it's it's a bigger pose change and really whoa make it make it much much faster so after this the shooting he gets he goes straight into this pose and not going back it's a full-on oh what's over that holy crap so much faster reaction and then as he gets to this you know it will be with potential sidesteps or something just a bit more active because he's he's back here he sees hmm cop is still here he can kill me at at any point i want to be much more frantic and um panicked about it and it doesn't have to be fumbling in terms of oh falling down and getting back up, but just just a bit more than than that. Because then if you are going forward, like, eh, maybe that person's not really a threat. Then I will play that up a bit more. So that, for instance, he could look back and he's being shot at, and all he does is hold on to this here and he leans back, you know, arm here, uh arm down maybe one leg up and it's kind of like a very casual oh let me just let me just move over while he's uh, he's he's shooting at me so to, it feels like either you want to you want to make sure that 
oh, I'm panicky and I got to run away and jump away. Or it's like, ah, all right, well, I guess I'll jump here. Hmm, still behind me? Yeah, not really a problem. Let me just jump down here. So it feels like you want to push, me personally, I would push into either one of those directions. And right now it's kind of like, well, he seems like he wants to get away, but it's not that concern, especially through here. Then it gets back up to here. This is cool. Because this to me seems a lot more, not a lot more, but not massively in, in control. I like the, the little changes in arms and all of this. Like it's not extremely casual, but it's also not fumbly. So again, I would push up potentially either in, in one of these directions where he might even land here and have that bit more of a slip down. And then into this. And when you do this, that lands could be ever so slightly off balance where he has to rebalance itself. And then that that step over, imagine, would be, you know, potentially, uh, you know, I, I'm horrible at drawing, but lower. So he has to, he almost turns around this way, pushing off of this arm into this. Or if he's extremely casual, it could be a land, boom. And maybe instead of going there, it's almost like he lands and does a bit of a one hop up and go. A bit of kind of a, I don't know if remember Elastigirl before when you have, you have Bob, the buildings in Elastigirl. After she says you have to be more flexible, she has that little hop backwards, a little one, two, and then she goes and does her little jump. It's a little bit of a casual hop there. Then I would push that potentially. These are kind of the, for me, the two areas that you could potentially uh, think about. And this is extremely picky and, and silly, but I would somehow move either the, something or extend the geometry so that this does not fall straight into here. I know this is extremely silly. I'm, I'm just seeing tangents and, and lines. I know, I mean, very silly. And then you mentioned that the cop at the end, I don't know, it's already pretty long. So like he can come, I mean, you could potentially have him as he lands. Cup starts to show up. And again, you can make him really big and out of shape. Maybe even holding a donut. <laughs> um, so just so that we know, oh, that cop is really not in, in any shape or form a threat to this person. Doesn't mean that he doesn't have to be frantic and want to get away. But, you know, something where I, my train of thought is... He jumps down and right through here, you would see the cop coming so that when this happens, you know, there might just be, or the cop might be here, so it's a bit more visible and might be just angling his arm down to shoot. And when he does this, might be again here, some ricochet and shooting comes down. And then as he flees, still some hits. I'm not sure personally if you need to go all the way back up to see uh, the cop. Just if I play this, even if you play it from here, right? Let's take just like two seconds, we can shave off the shot. Comes here, checks around, pew, 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 more frantic, jumps up, and then, uh, uh, boom, pew, 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 pew. And then, mm, I guess you could, maybe, maybe, maybe if you shave those two seconds off, we can go back up to show the cop, maybe. But it could be interesting too, to have the cop now suddenly show up here. You know, then you can. You don't have to go that low with the camera. I mean, this frame down here could be here, so we see a bit more. And then it's then the character is really leading the camera because right now the camera is a bit anticipating that whole thing. So imagine that we're maybe not lower than this lens here. That gives us enough room for the cop to still arrive. And then you could you could play with the fact that the cop is out of breath. Maybe maybe the cop is here and goes, <gasps> and maybe you play up the casualness where. Uh, this character does more of a move like this, where it's kind of like he does that. Uh, imagine you got, you know, like really pointing that the the fingers here in the very big exaggerated, all right, I'm out of here moment. So that imagine he's here and maybe he holds on with one arm, chest is a bit higher, head up. And then with his hand, he does kind of like, okay, bye bye. And then does that one, two jump down while the cop is just <gasps> maybe trying to reload or grabbing a gun or fumbling the gun or something 
And then again, that lower frame might be here. And then only through here, the, the camera will catch up and we can easily break frame where that character is this far off screen and then land and does his, his run off. And maybe you have some humor where now the gun goes -dum, 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 and he, he ultimately did drop the gun and fumble it because it's just, it's a very inept cop. Um, anyway. Food for thought or not, or maybe, I don't know. These are my thoughts. Uh, it's definitely already well done. Um, these are just kind of different ideas. I'm really not worried about your animation skills. So it's just kind of throwing out um, different animation ideas and story points or something that you could consider or just exactly do what you do. Um, but I think even if you do what you have, I would probably wait with the camera so that the characters lead in the camera just a bit more. Um, but that will also change once you spline this because of this moment here. All right, but that's it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.